Well, hello there and welcome to another training video. In this nugget, I'll be showing you on how to change color codes in CorelDRAW. So let's get started. When working with color will come in handy when you're manipulating your data in CorelDRAW. I will show you how to work with the different color codes here in Corel. Well, I'll navigate to create a sample art that we will be using and I'll just draw a rectangle over there. And the simplest way to embed color on this or to fill color in this object is by navigating into the color palette and clicking. Notice that at the bottom here, I have the RGB color. I also have the hex color. If I want to manipulate a little bit more of color in this specific image, I'll navigate into my tools area and select object. On the drop down or the flyout menu, I will select object properties. Notice I can also use Alt plus Enter on a Windows keyboard to bring up this pop up window. I'll click on that object properties, and the object properties panel appears on the right section. Notice I can manipulate the red, I can manipulate the greens, and also the blues. This being a blue, no red, it means we have zero red, we have zero green, but we have the maximum, which is 255 of blue. If I decide to alter the red, for example, and put a number in there, you'll notice that it now stops being pure blue and it becomes a shade. I can also add green and say I need to add a little bit of color in there. And now my object starts to pick a different color. You will also notice that I have the hex color code area. This is where I can type in the hex color codes to ensure that there is consistency between one designer and another when we are talking about a different colors. I can navigate here and erase that color and decide to put a different color code that I might find useful. Maybe I can put um, hashtag two, um, let's have two nine, eight, let's have eight, let's have, you know. You can also try with other colors and you can tell that now my color changes from that specific shade of blue to a different color. It makes sure that there is consistency when you're working with the colors. I can also change the colors to fit in different color codes that usually exist within our workspace. For example, CMYK when I want to do lots of printing and of course RGB when I want to do screen graphics and it's a little bit different when you look at it. I also have a color palette where I can choose directly any color of my choice and change the gradient to fit in exactly the colors that I want to work with. Remember, if I have any other color within my window that I would like to pick in, it is easy to work with a dropper option by selecting and I can navigate into any area of my window, for example there, and click on a color that will be adopted by my image. Well, that is how we work with color codes in CorelDRAW. If you like this video, click on the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next nuggets.